just wrote me some notes so I wouldn't forget what I wanted to say. Okay, fire away. Okay. Uh, some of these are some stories that they're mostly about my dad, um, Toby Herman Walker. He was a great guy, and he loved his family dearly. Loved his mom and dad. He really, really loved his mother a lot. And... Um, thought she was very special and I was too young really to to remember either one of them very well either but Leela has told me some stories about some things about him whenever he was growing up and one of the stories uh, she said was that um, uh, her and her mom were in the kitchen and it was uh, my dad's birthday and he was young, I don't know, seven, eight years old, something like that. And Leela asked, asked her mom, said, you know, can we bake him a, a birthday cake? And uh, she said, I think we've got enough stuff, you know, to where we can fix him one. And so she told him, she said, you know, whenever you when come in from school, you know, we're, we're going to fix you a birthday cake. You know, you'll have a birthday cake. And so... Um, so they did, and then she put icing on it, and it looked so pretty, and she went and put it on the table. Well, uh, and they got to doing stuff, and and, uh, th and she went back in later, and the cake was gone. And, oh, she was just so upset, like, you know, what happened to the cake? What happened to Toby's cake? And he, he came in a little bit, and she said, well, Toby, I, I, we, got, we made you a cake, but I don't know what happened to it. And he said... Well, you told me it was mine, and he had ate the, he ate, he came in and he ate the whole thing. <laughs> and another story she told me was that her and her mom, of course, were in the kitchen, and they were looking out the window, and they saw him out outside, and they and he was over by the horse tank, the water tank, and he kept dunking his head in the tank. And, and, and then he'd come back up, and then he'd dunk his head again, and then he'd come back up. And so when he came in later, they said, what in the world were you doing? And he said, well, he was practicing holding his breath, because whenever he got in trouble, his dad would go out there and stick his head in the tank <laughs> and hold him under the water. So he knew he was going to be bad sometimes. So... <laughs> so. <laughs> So he was practicing to see if he could learn how to hold it as long as he could. Well, of course, of course, my dad, he, he really wished for sons, and he ended up getting daughters. And uh, so he didn't get, have any daughters to help him with his construction work like he did. And uh, he really did have a very soft, soft heart for us girls. And I remember one time in particular... We always had cats around the house. And I remember one time in particular, we had this mama cat that was having, that was having babies. It was pouring rain outside, just a torrential rain. In the middle of the night, it was storming. And in our front, in front of our house, we had these, had this thick bush type stuff over here. And the mama cat had gotten under that and we would not let him alone. And so he go. He had to go out there in the pouring rain with the flashlight, trying to dig through that stuff to get that cat and her and save her kittens because we would not let him. But he was good natured enough to do that for us because it would have broke our heart if, if, she, if those kittens had drowned. And he was sopping wet. When he came back from the, the service, um, he, uh, he, of course, had to get a job, and he didn't have any, any clothes except for uniform, his uniforms, his, his uh, work, uh, uh, Navy uniforms. So uh, he went to work in, to, at this variety store, and, uh, or shoe, selling shoes, I believe. But anyway, he talked to the guy, and the guy was nice enough to let him wear his uniforms to work until he made enough money to where he could buy him some regular clothes to, for, to work in. And, um, um, and of course, uh, we, we 
often got in trouble, uh, us three girls, and it, usually all three of us got spankings at the same time. Of course, we wished that mom would give us our spankings instead of daddy, but usually it was him. And we can understand because he would always tell us, this is hurting you, hurting me more than it's hurting you. And we couldn't understand that at, that at all. You know, how in the world, because you don't understand that till you have kids of your own. But it was always things, usually the things we got spankings for was stuff that where we really could have got hurt, you know. And he was so afraid that something would happen to us and we would get hurt. And uh, the, uh, the last thing that I wanted to say was, uh, not too long ago, my sister asked uh, my mother what it was about my dad that attracted her to him. Uh, and you know, it, whenever he was young and came back from the service and all that, and she said that the thing that, that endeared her the most was that he was the most respectful, kindest, most considerate man that she had ever met. And that, that's it. <laughs>